Since her husband died, Popova has locked herself in the house in mourning. Her servant, Luca, begins the play by begging Popova to stop mourning and step outside the estate. She ignores him, saying she promised her husband to always remember him. Their conversation is interrupted when Smirnov arrives and wishes to see Popova. Luca tells Smirnov to leave. He ignores Luca's requests and enters the dining room. Popova agrees to meet him. Smirnov explains to her that her late husband owes him a sum of 1,200 rubles as a debt. Smirnov, a landowner, needs the money the same day to pay for a house mortgage due the next day. Popova has no cash, but promises to pay when her steward arrives. Smirnov gets angered by her refusal to pay him back and mocks the supposed mourning of her husband. Smirnov decides that he will not leave the estate until his debts are paid off. He and Popova engage in another argument when he begins shouting at the servant to fetch him kvash or any alcoholic drink. The argument turns into a debate about true love according to the different genders. Smirnov claims that women can only love a lapdog, whereas Popova asserts that she loved her husband deeply despite his disrespect. The argument escalates into another loud dispute about settling the debt. During this argument, Popova insults Smirnov by calling him a boar. Smirnov, insulted, calls for a duel, not caring that Popova is a woman. Popova, in turn, enthusiastically agrees and goes off to get a pair of guns her husband owned. Luca overhears, gets scared for his mistress, and seeks help to end their feud before anyone gets hurt. Meanwhile, Smirnov admires Popova's audacity and realizes he's fallen in love with her and her dimpled cheeks. When Popova returns with the pistols, Smirnov makes his love confession. Popova wavers between rejecting him and urging him to stay. In the end, the two get close and kiss each other, just as Luca returns with the gardener and coachman. Oh.